For both of us, it wasn't necessarily an easy decision to say, yes, we're going to go overseas to Nicaragua and serve the Lord. And we spent a lot of months praying about it with our family and friends. But ultimately, I think for me, I just need to believe that God is good and He has good plans for my future. It's been just this continuous process of one foot after another saying, this is where the Lord's leading me and I just need to say yes to the next step. We are not immune to that being hard. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Waters. And I'm Meek Waters. We both met our junior years of college while living off campus in ministry houses. We had many conversations about the future and where God was leading us and where He was leading us in the world. And the goal that we both had was to serve God. So it didn't exactly matter where we were if we were going to be doing that. Shortly after we got married in 2019, we felt like the Lord was maybe leading us into missions, but honestly just didn't really know where to start. And we had a couple friends who had gone on missions through GoCor. GoCor partners with a lot of organizations around the world and they connect people that are interested in going overseas with those organizations. We both were really interested in somewhere that would have a need for the specific gifts that God had given each of us. And we were interested in Spanish-speaking countries because my family is Bolivian. So we were sent in the spring of 2022 to Masatepe, Nicaragua to work with one collective who is working to help people here have access to food, freedom, and forgiveness. So this is our office where we work every day. We've been here almost six months and most of that time Brian has been language learning because he had no background when we first got here. But I've gotten to jump right in and get involved with the businesses our team has and just projects. There are huge needs here in Masatepe, both physical and spiritual. Poverty is a huge issue in Nicaragua as a whole. It's the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. And so our team runs a number of small businesses and initiatives that are designed to empower and employ the local community and address these physical needs on one hand. But through those businesses, we are building connections and relationships with people. We're discipling and able to share the gospel through those as well. The goal is for us to come alongside the Nicaraguan leaders of the team to help them develop and for them to help us develop as well. There's Nicaraguans on our team that have already been a part of this work for a while, so we are helping in some leadership, but ultimately we're already joining something that God has begun a while ago here. Brian came in the moment that we were needing it. Nick is helping us making shifts here, helping us with the leadership for the devotional time. That is one of the most important things that we do here. And, and Brian now is helping me with the financial things and, and he's trying to, to lead me to understand better numbers here to take like decisions more specifically and, and more effectively. And, and yeah, I think that with those skills we have improved. I woke up in the morning and I'm so excited to come here because I think that what I am doing is with a purpose. It's not a normal job. It's not just being a boss. No, because I am coming here to impact lives. Yo vine a one collective siendo invisible. Ellos creyeron en mí, me formaron como mejor persona, mejor cristiano. Y me dieron oportunidades que nunca nadie me las había dado. Tenemos áreas que no tenemos fondos para cubrir un salario 
para que alguien trabaje para mejorar ese proyecto. Nosotros necesitamos el apoyo de, de ellos para que nos ayuden a tomar liderazgo de ese proyecto y hacerlo crecer. En el caso de, de, de Brian, Brian está trabajando ya en las fincas conmigo. A mí me gustaría que él venga acá y me enseñe a ser un líder. Es que toda el agua está cayendo ahí. Como equipo, que se incorporen con nosotros y, a, y nos enseñen su cultura y nosotros aprender de ellos y ellos de nosotros. <risa> In the U.S. especially, a lot of us have been blessed with resources and with knowledge that could really be used to further the kingdom in other parts of the world. And this really ties in well with what Nick has seen personally in her life. Her grandma was a first-generation believer who heard about Christ through missionaries in Bolivia. And the only reason that she connected with them was because they were offering sewing classes, teaching practical skills. And if the Lord can do that with one missionary in Bolivia, think about what he can do with, with 10 missionaries or with 100. I forgot that it was the sewing class because that is more like kind of what we're doing, like teaching skills. Yeah, I forgot wow. to share that. <laughs> I don't think you're necessarily saying yes to going on a trip or being a missionary. You're saying yes to what Christ has put in front of you and you're saying yes to Christ. He knows exactly where you're supposed to be. He knows your talents and how they should be used. So I think we can trust Him with our futures and trust that He's going to use us to shape other people's lives. Hey. <laughs>